Welcome to No Control RC. Well, if you haven't seen our faces in a little bit, it's because, you know, these last few months have been crazy for both Brandon and myself. Uh, we're both in the beverage industry and, you know, July and August, it's a tough time to get things done. We also had our car show that we team up with Frog Brewing for that helps to be benefit the American Cancer Society. That was a smashing success, and there'll be a short walkthrough video posted on our page later, too. Um, Thank you for everybody who came out and donated and entered your car and bought raffle tickets and everything. Thank you very much. Um, what we have on the bench here is actually something I did not plan on reviewing. And if you guys watch the channel a lot, you know I always say, like, nobody's ever going to give us anything. Um, surprisingly, one company did reach out, though, and they said, we actually love your honest reviews. And would you please do an honest review of our truck? It's not brand new. But they are on sale right now, so they're really trying to push them out there. And I thought, how can I maintain an honest review if I got this for free? It's the first thing they've ever sent me for free. So my thought was this. I know I got it for free. Brandon has no idea I got it for free. So I'm going to tell him that I bought it, and then he'll treat it like it's an honest review of the money came out of our pocket. Now, thank you for Red Cat for trusting us to do this. We really appreciate it. Um, but we want to do as you wish, and we're going to do an honest review. So, you know, Brandon's coming up here sometime. I might have to actually hit the pause. Okay, here he is. Brandon's finally here. Yay. So, Brandon, you're going to... Oh, jeez. What was that? It's tripping over transmissions. It's like this is a working garage. Um, so... You're probably looking at this wondering why I bought a Red Cat Gen 9 International Scout. I'm I thought... I'm assuming you had... I thought you had a Scout fetish. No. My thought was we could take it up to that killer crawler spot we have. Because we haven't been up there in a while. That's it. That's fun And spot. I actually wanted something to compare to your Ascent. Because I've sold most of my other crawlers. I've super, I've superized that Ascent, though. It's going to be tough to beat that. Yeah, well, you know, well, I'd like to see how this does in stock versus that i also have my redneck muscle truck there that's 4s and that's a whole nother story that thing's not yeah, very good for crawling anymore <laughs> um but i thought this would be fun to take out to that spot we found it's killer spot and i've read lots of good things on this so why not and it's on sale right now so that should have been the first clue what, um, was, what color is it graphite graphite I don't really care. I don't, I don't, I'm not a neutral tone person, unless it's black. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll leave you to do the unboxing here. Yeah, hey, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> All right, unbox. I haven't done an unboxing for a little while. It's got a divorce transfer case. Yes. I guess they're just going to make it work. When... when <laughs> <laughs> So which half got the house? <laughs> All right, so here we are. We're back. Back to unbox this red cat that Alex bought. It looks pretty cool. Looks cool in the box. Let's see what it looks like. A little rusty. That is an airtight box. That is nice. So what do we got? We got a wow. That is a sticker sheet. That is a long list of things right there. I don't want to read. There we go. Here we go. What do we got? We've got the remote. Doesn't feel too bad. You go over there. I wonder how loud this stuff is when you pop it. We're running over one of the trucks. That'd be a real truck. <laughs> yeah, that's to be a real truck. Okay. Scouty. What do we got? It's actually kind of solid. Anything else in here? No. It's going to be hard to drive with this in there. All right. Actually, pull this hair right here. First impressions is this thing kind of not too bad looking. It's pretty plain Jane because it's a Scout. And let's face it, any of us that's actually seen a real Scout know they're not the pinnacle of style. But they're supposed to perform pretty well. I mean, it's nice. For silver, it's not bad. Let's get this thing off. Is this flip thing? Is this a bad boy flip up? How does this thing come off? This, yeah, it's been a minute. 
You know, really though, you gotta you gotta admire these companies that are actually putting effort into. It's not much, but it does have seats. It's got a steering wheel, shifters, all that stuff. At least it gives you a presence of what a real vehicle looks like. You can throw an action figure in there or something to really class it up if you want. That has got some weight to it. All right, let's get in. So I do know this is the Gen 9 chassis. Um, Gen 8 beforehand, I did actually look up a little bit. but All right, so now that we've got the body off this bad boy, Let's start looking right from the top. All right, so here she is without the body. We're gonna do a quick generic little walkthrough just to touch on all the key points. And then after we run this bad boy, we'll really get into the nuts and bolts and really see what we think might be better versus the generation before this. But we'll quickly touch right on the top. Got all these nice plastic inner fenders and all that stuff, hopefully to help keep all the muck out of all your good pieces. Plus it really, goes well with the body right up here you got your 550 size motor obviously she's brushed it's a crawler it's not built for speed but it's going to get the job done we know it from in the past from what they've done these actually do very well get your speed control all that and i believe this is still the water resistant one and i can tell you from uh, my red cat um, we did send it into a river and it still works so kudos to you because that came out really nice Got the holy receiver, everything right there, and a nice water-resistant box. That's cool. Dean's plug. Love those. I like the Dean. That little server right here that goes into the divorce transfer case. And like Alex said, I got, it's a divorce transfer case, so uh, I guess they couldn't make it work, and I don't know which half got the house. So we're going to play with that a little bit later anyway. But here's here. Battery tray. Very simple stuff. This is very simple, very efficient, very nice. We'll look at underneath. Metal C-channel chassis with actual metal links and all that. Four-link rear, three-link front with a pan hard, you know, pan hard bar, all that stuff. That's all sweet. Um, it does have the portal axles. Of course, we all know the theory behind the axles. The gear reduction through the portals helps reduce uh, axle torque, so that way the truck doesn't hopefully flex as much but you still get all the torque to the tires and uh and we come right down through plastic drive shafts plastic two-piece drive shafts into the tran the uh center section all there with the two-speed transmission so you go high and low do the super crawling all that like i said if this thing performs anything like the ascent that i had it actually was profoundly impressive for what it was and i truly don't understand why this really wouldn't do the same as that so i don't know 32 pitch gears i believe all sorts of good stuff it's built simple with the goal to perform as best as possible overall most bang for your buck is what the premise behind this is so I don't, know, I don't know if there's anything else we want, really want to do or if we just actually want to get into seeing this thing perform. And then we can touch upon if we think what might be better about this one versus the generation before it and comparing it to my Red Cat. We'll dust that thing off and compare it to that. And then we can see what we got. What do you think? I think that's what we're going to do. Run it. Let's run it.
All right. Well, that was fun, and it actually performed better than I thought it would because of the tire size and a few other things. It was a very slippery conditions where we were. Our normal crawling spots a little dried up, a little slick, a little slimy, but this thing still performed pretty well. Now, I'm curious to what Brandon's thoughts are because he drove it most of the time. Um, what are your thoughts, Brandon? So flat out, honestly, for all in all, for how much he paid for it, this thing was oh, pretty good. Hold on. You said you bought it. Yes, but what do you think the price of this was? I, actually, I told you it was on sale. You said it was on sale, and I I don't know. I so these are normally, what, three fifty nine ninety nine. Feels right, and yeah. And through the Red Cat site right now, they are $244, $245, somewhere in that range. Um, at that price point, this thing's a bargain. If you were to spend the full price, you know, I might sway and tell you to buy the Ascent. But for that price, this is a bargain truck. Taking into account the price of it, um, that really does, let's face it, you spend less money, you're willing to sacrifice a couple things. But actually, that aside, maybe I wouldn't be as impressed if I spent full price for this. But especially at the price we got it at, just getting right down to actually what it did, it does flex, it does perform. The steering on the thing is actually pretty, pretty impressive. It's it got some really good... Well. Really good steering, like pretty high degrees. The flex is pretty well. It's got a decent amount of weight between the body and all that. The biggest complaint I really honestly had is these are Interco copyrighted tires. They're they meant to mimic, I believe, the M16, I think is what it said. Um, the tires were the biggest factor, I thought, that could be overall better performance. Um, now, just, just from where we were, it was just a little... I think personally a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. I, I feel like grip, but I feel like I think the grip is because it was just so easily getting hung up on stuff yeah. and our environment was a little slimy. So we got to take that into consideration, but I feel like just a hair bigger tire, maybe with a little bit, a little softer, a little more flex. I think this thing would be pretty out of this world. The two, the two, the two speed transmission works good. Um, other than that, I didn't really do anything with it, but on and off the throttle and left and right. Yeah, it performed very well. If you're looking for a crawler of this type, as I said, it's on sale. We'll put a link down below to get you that best price. Um, for that price, it's really hard to beat. Full price, like Brandon said, you might think like, ah, I would tell people to buy the Ascent at full price, but with this being on sale, it's a bargain of a truck. Red Cat's quality has come so far been very impressed with their stuff lately i mean what else can you say no nothing really i mean yes i know we compare it to like my ascent back there but look, to be perfectly honest there are two platforms built for two separate things this is more of a scale uh vehicle represented crawler so you do need to take that in consideration and lastly the remote i mean the remotes usually end up feeling a touch on the toy side they just feel but as you're using it ergonomically, it, it feels nice. It's responsive. It feels nice. So, yes, it's not an overly expensive feeling remote, but at least it, it doesn't feel weird while you're using it. All right. So, overall, it's a good truck. I'm, not a great I'm, truck. It's a really good truck. Yeah. It's, it's a hell of a platform to start with. Um, I think, honestly, the few things I complained about, a tiny couple bit of upgrades, and this thing probably would be off, off rolling pretty hard. We probably put it past its point of <laughs> their environment was probably a little tough for this but Honestly, all in all it performed well for where we yeah. brought it when you get slime on the rocks it's really tough for anything to crawl up them um overall it's a good truck get them while they're on sale you know it's a great time to get them upgrade them drive them as they are you know just get out and enjoy our sea you know fall's coming so hope you had a good summer Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And what I'll tell Brandon now finally is I actually didn't buy this. Would you steal it? Believe it or not, they sent this to us. But I wanted an honest review from you because we've never gotten anything <laughs> free before. And I probably would have been leaning more positive towards it without even knowing. So I just wanted to take that right out of the equation and say, you know, 
And don't worry, this will probably be the last thing we ever get sent by anybody. So. Yeah, they probably uh, they we'll do something stupid. This will be the last one. Yeah. Um. For, so for that price, this thing's pretty killer. Yes. But no, I mean, you can't. Yeah. Okay. I, st I still want to put it against the ascent. This is my cheater That's truck. What you say. Future video. Yes, future video. We'll put this against my performance platform that I upgraded the wheels and tires, and I got the uh, down uh, uh, underdriven rear end. I got weight. I got all sorts of stuff. So we better hope this does better than that. Let me make sure it's in in gear. Okay, we're good. Over and out. Thanks for watching.